ladies and gentlemen, and uh, guests that will be listening on the radio, I think, uh, if I've read all the uh, times correctly, around the side. Uh, I'm really honoured to be here this afternoon, and uh, I really do appreciate uh, having been given the opportunity to speak uh, to so many people on a local basis. Uh, and I think what I have listened to, as I'm sure you have as well, is that there were quite a few references to values. And instead of just talking about the police, I just want to really say what I stand for and what my values are, and they're important to me as an individual, regardless of this police uniform, and they're important to the way I lead and will lead the police on your behalf, and on behalf of the rest of the communities of Nottinghamshire. So I normally am able to, to recite my values quite easily because I have one word which sort of sums them up, and that word is spice. And the S stands for service. And what that means is that I am here as a public servant to serve you, and the public come first, and it's public service before self-service. And that's what I speak to the officers about, particularly new officers that join the force, and all the forces that I've worked in throughout my career. The second is professionalism. You expect, I expect, the police service to be professional, to keep up to date when the laws change, to be aware of what's happening locally and nationally, and to be responsive to local need in a way which never judges, but always listens. And the next letter is I, which stands for integrity. And that runs through the law. That is the law. And we absolutely focus on the integrity of our interactions. We aim to be as transparent as we possibly can. But our integrity comes first. And if people overstep the mark that work for the force, then you will have read about some of the things that happen to them. And they generally step to the left and exit the force because they've let the public down. That's very rare, but unfortunately it does happen. And, I, and I've been here two months and I've had to make some of those difficult decisions on behalf of the public to maintain the reputation and the good standards of integrity of the organisation. And the C stands for compassion. And compassion is closely linked to humility. And what that really means is that quite often when you first contact the police, it's the first time you've had to do it because of usually a number of things that have gone on before. And we have to be compassionate and understanding and display absolute humility and respect for people who contact us at a time of need. We have to respond to that properly, timely, and with due respect. And the E stands for equality, but it's really more about equality and diversity. And I think, having listened carefully to the messages which were just given in the last 10 minutes, is that that's probably one of the most important things as me as Chief Constable, looking out over the population of Nottinghamshire as a whole and the city of Nottingham. Because the equality side of things is absolutely critical to making sure that we police by consent. There aren't 10,000 police officers on every street corner. There's only two or three on occasions on street corners because they're going from job to job to serve the public. But actually, their main focus and our main focus and our legitimacy comes from your trust. The trust of the community in us to do the right thing by you. And that's really important to me as a police leader, but also to me as a person without wearing this uniform. And just building on some of the things that I did listen to, one of the key things about the building blocks of the police is it originated from Sir Robert Peel, the Home Secretary, roughly about 150 years ago. And he said one or two really important phrases, and one of which sticks in my mind. And he said that the public are the police, and the police are the public. And what that means to me is the police need to be more representative of the wider public. Big, short, there's no age restrictions anymore in joining the police. You can join the police to a variety of ages, providing you can pass the fitness test, that is. There's no minimum height restriction anymore. And actually, the fitness test isn't that hard because I can pass it. And, uh, you know, I think I'm quite adipose rich at the moment. 
But overall, what I am saying, as, you, as your relatively new Chief Constable, I've been here two years, is that despite what you might hear about national finances and everything else, I intend to recruit more police officers for the County of Nottinghamshire. That will certainly come to the fore following the budget rounds which will be ongoing in the next month or so. But when that occasion comes forward, I am absolutely determined to make sure that recruitment is very much more representative than it has been in the past. And when I'm talking about this, I quite often talk about a team because we work in teams, we're good as a team. The team, if you take a football analogy, would be pretty useless if everybody was a goalkeeper or if everybody was a centre forward. You need a mixed bag. You need your defenders, your strikers, and you need somebody with a safe pair of hands at the back. And that's exactly what policing is like. It's best when it's at its most diverse, so that we can apply different things as a team to the different challenges challenges that face us on a daily basis. So I would very much just want to say thank you. I've had a completely humbling experience and a really nice experience and I very much look forward to visit it again in the near future. Thank you. Great, thank you very much. Uh, we hope that, uh, you know, <coughs> the Chief Constable uh, liked the because you know, predecessors uh, will have that very positive and strong relationship with us. And as you said, this is about service, it's about professionalism, it's about integrity, it's about compassion, and it's about really equality and valuing our diversity as well. So, inshallah, you know, the uh, Chief Constable will be outside, so when you leave, do meet him after the prayer. <laughs>